You would like to get into the cleaning game, but you too are afraid of the bug. So how do you become a cleaner? Being afraid of bugs. So I don't know why I'm disgusted by bugs, but it's fairly common. Lots of people are disgusted by bugs. I think because I got ADHD, you just see how I feel all over me. What we're both thinking, you might think it, and I might think it, I'll display it. So how do you become a cleaner being afraid of bugs? Well, I got forced into it. I'm a cleaner because our rent got jacked up. $130. All right, I would not have chosen the cleaning life. Not because I don't want to be a cleaner, but because I don't want to deal with bugs, bins, or toilets. Sensory issues. How do you overcome it? You have to have bug spray, first of all. If you forget your bug spray, you're gonna have a really bad day. And don't cheap out on your bug spray. You get the knockdown fast. You pay for the Morten, you pay for the brand. Who cares? So buy the big bottle and get one with a really far reaching spray. Have that with you at all times. I might buy a second bottle, so it's always in my office kit. That's the first thing, bug spray. The other thing is gloves, because it gives you the sense of it can't touch you. Another thing is long pants, and I have a running jacket, so it's a wind breaker, and it's very thin material, so you don't overheat. Perfect kind of jacket. It at least covers your whole body up, and then I got a hat on, so it can't get in my hair. And then I wear a mask, so I really feel protected, and I can't smell anything. Sometimes I'll even put that face shield on that you see me wear that makes me like Darth Vader. That's a good one too. And then eucalyptus oil in a little spray bottle. Just lightly spray your clothes. You feel like you've got another layer of protection. The bugs will usually be in the bin bag, so I just like move the bins, like ruffle them a little to try and get them run out. Nothing's run out, then I have a little more courage. And then I take the bins from all the areas and I put them in the middle of the floor because it'll give them time to escape and run out so that they don't come with me in the car. I don't ever take a bin bag from the bin and put it straight in the car. That's a no-no, you never do that. So I take the bins out pretty soon after getting there and put them in the middle of the main area. Double bag and sometimes triple bag the bins just in case they don't come out, that I can trap them most likely inside so that they don't come out. Also, you don't want the bag breaking. The whole thing's just terrible. And then you put the bags, if you have to put them in the car, it's just like try and put them in a boot. But if you're in one of these cars, they can come over. But you just, that, that's not what risk you just have to be willing to take. This trash has been sitting in the car for half an hour. Oh my goodness, I just freaked myself out. It's just this. That hopefully you ruffled the bags and double bagged and moved the bags and made the bags wait long enough to protect yourself. <laughs>